All right, now we're going to use a wall void to cut a non-perpendicular hole in this wall. So basically, if I go to my 3D view here, we're going to cut a hole right here in this wall so we can get to this door back here eventually. So what I'm going to do is go to my level one and I'm going to go to architecture component model in place. And you're going to use this particular um, process when you're having sort of a one-off situation. There are ways to make void families that um, could be useful in this situation, but right now this is the most efficient way, I think, to do it. Now what you need to do is select the category, and it needs to be the same category that you want to cut. So in this case I'm going to select walls. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to name it Wall Void, <clears throat> and I'll click OK. And it takes me into sketch mode and gives me the option to create various three-dimensional modeling types. And I just want to basically create an outline of the void that I want to cut. So I'm just going to use an extrusion. And I'm going to come in and use the line command and I'll just draw a line that represents pretty much the void. Right? So pretty much making form work here. Now once I have that line, it needs to be a closed uh, form, so I can use the trim command and pick those, and that trims that magenta line out. So now I have basically a closed parallelogram, and it's going to start the extrusion at level 1 and extrude it up 250 units. I'm just going to have it extruded up 1,000 units. Now if I hit check, and I go to my 3D view, you will see that I have this solid piece here that is the formwork for what I want to cut out of that wall. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to align the top of this to the height of this. So let's try to use the align command. So I'm going to go to align and I'm going to highlight that top plane and then I'll highlight the top of the uh, solid extrusion and it'll bring that up to that level. Now what I want to do is I want to change this from an extrusion into a void. So I'm going to pick it and in the properties dialog box over here is a solid void option. So I'll go to void and it now turns into, it's actually kind of orange, right? And even though it's a void, it's not quite cutting that wall yet. We have to tell it to cut the wall. So I'm going to go to cut under the modify panel from this wall, this void and it now cuts that out, right? So now if I go to my level one, <clears throat> right, you will see that that is there. Now, you still have access to this void. You can pick it and you can go to edit extrusion in the family and adjust it. If I go to finish model here, because I'm still in sketch mode, right, it takes me back out to the project. I can go to my 3D view and I can say, yep, that's pretty much what I wanted. You should be able to um, if you have a good idea, oftentimes you can come in and get to that void again. So if I go to my level one, maybe, and hover over it, or try to select it, oftentimes you can come in and, I'm going to try to window around that guy, and if I go to filter, it's just giving me the walls right now. So sometimes it's a little difficult to pick that, but oftentimes you can go in and get that void family again. When it highlights that area, it gives me the wall void, and I can go to edit in place, and then I can pick the entire void and edit the extrusion, and it will give me that extrusion again. So it's just sort of a stepping in. So hit check, finish model, and you have that option. Okay.